right, guys. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel and welcome to the show, guys. Listen, it's Wednesday, it's hump day, it's another day in the birdhouse. And you know, listen, it's not always easy. That's the other thing you gotta understand, guys. Especially for little kids. And and even adults. If you're a parent watching this, it's no different. Alright? What you realize is we're going through a lot of the similar things. It's just a matter of capacity. And kids don't have as much capacity. Adults have more. But they don't have a limit, limited capacity. And <clears throat> it's okay. But we all have to work through it. So what I'm trying to say is it's not, it's not easy. Guys, doing something great. That's what I'm teaching myself every day. To be great, you have to do the not easy stuff. You have to do the stuff that no one really wants to do. That's what makes you great. Definitionally, it has to be that, right? That's what makes you great by doing the things, one, that no one wants to do, and if no one wants to do it, they don't get practice at it, which means they can't do it. And if you can do things that two, well, two things, think about it this way. If you can do, one, the things no one wants to do, and the things no one can do. I mean, that's the definition of greatness. You, 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 you are actually being greatness in the flesh if you do those things. Now, are you one of the people that don't want to do it? Then you, you, you see how it works? If you're one of the people who doesn't want to do it, you're one of the people I'm talking about who won't be great. And that's okay, that's what makes me great. You know, see that, that's how you have to think about it. If everyone did the things that no, it's almost oxymoronic to say, that if everyone did the things that no one wants to do, it doesn't make sense. That's because it can't make sense. Everyone can't do the things that no one wants to do. Right? So, if you do the things that no one wants to do, isn't that the definition of greatness? It, it, it is. That's why I always say, if you put flour and eggs and sugar in a bowl and mix it up and then put it in the oven, what do you get? You get a cake. It, it's so simple though. Even the kids know. You get a cake. Like, if you do that, that's what's going to happen. Now, if you want a hamburger, that's not good. But if you put flour, sugar, eggs, whip it, put it in the oven, you're gonna get a cake. If you do the things that no one wants to do, you're gonna be great. You are greatness in the flesh if you are doing the things that no one wants to do. And then that makes you be able to do the things that no one can do, which makes you not only great, but a legend. And, and it's so simple to say, but then guess what? When your calendar, when your schedule, when you said you were gonna run those miles, when you said you were gonna study for that test, when you said you were gonna go practice your layups, your jump shot, and you don't, then, proves my point, it's harder than it sounds, right? Anybody can say, yeah, I'm gonna go run a mile today. But what about when it's time to run the mile? Are you going to do it? Now, that's why it's a big difference between talking about it and doing it, thinking about it and doing it, practice and the show. So guys, it really is, it just comes down to doing, doing the things that you said you were gonna do and that makes you great. Because here's the other thing you realize. You realize that people don't even do the things they said they were going to do. So think about that. I mean, you really can get to the root or the equation for greatness very simply if you keep thinking about it. And see, what I'm trying to do for my kids is distill this process for them. I'm not saying that they're not going to make mistakes. Of course they are. But what you learn from your parents hopefully is one more is how to get to where they were faster, or where they are, whatever you, however you think about it, faster. The same thing with technology. It's the same thing with Moore's Law, right? The, the time frame that it takes to achieve something in the future is shorter than it took in the past because of the collective 
level of consciousness and knowledge base that is present. So something that took you a month to produce or create back in the 90s or 10 years ago, it should take you a day to day because of the tools, the technology, the, the level of understanding that we have is just simply higher. So when you go to create or do, I'm not gonna go too deep into that, I digress. My point is what children can understand from their parents, if they don't understand anything else, it's how to get where they were in life faster. Because if it takes your whole parent's life to, to replicate what they did, then did you even do anything? Did you do it better? Did you, do, did you improve? Not really, guys. The thing is, you should be using your parents' life as an example, certainly of the things to do, but also the things not to do, and get to where you're going faster. That's the thing I tell my kids, and that's what I'm teaching them. I'm like, hey, listen, guys, no one said you're going to make, no one said you're not going to make mistakes, but here's the thing you need to take from life and your parents and all the resources and opportunities that you have right now is how do you get to where you want to go faster? That's it. Faster. Same thing. If you had a kid, if, say you're a kid and you have a dad who plays basketball and then you have a dad who doesn't play basketball, which kid will be better at that? Right? Like, like think about it like that, first of all. Just phrase, just phrase it that way to start. Let's say you had a kid. And this has actually been proven out to be true now. Live long. Back to what I'm saying. Now we know. Like a baseball player. Who do you think is going to be a better baseball player? Baseball player who had a dad who was a professional baseball player? Or baseball player who just loves the game and started playing as a kid? That's right. That's exactly the truth and the answer. And guess what? It's no mistake that mo a lot of major league players today have fathers that played major league baseball back in the 70s and 80s. It's a fact. Because if you are learning from a professional, like they take a kid who never played baseball before in his life. And then he starts to pick up the game and he likes it practices gets really good but take a kid whose dad plays baseball professionally for a living like he's on the Phillies right imagine you play for the Phillies well then from age two this kid is going to be playing watching the game learning the game out there catching balls and just doing fun stuff with his dad like natural fun things but he's learning learning how to catch the ball learning how to pick the ball up off the ground learning how to hit Meanwhile, that's happening at two and three for this kid. Meanwhile, the other kid doesn't get introduced to baseball until, let's say, what, what age were those kids that Mr. Bernard was playing with yesterday? They were 15. They were not at Walter. They were Walter students, weren't they? They can't be 15. Their school is like the eighth grade. Anyway, um, those kids were probably like 10, 12. Point is, 10, 12 year olds. All right, let's say they started playing baseball at 10 or 12. That's good, it's okay. But you're not gonna be as good as a player who, who's been playing since he was two and his dad is a professional. His dad can teach him so much more about the game than you could ever learn. He's in the house with him. He's in the car having conversations. When he goes out to play, he's catching balls from a major league player. It's just no way you get that level of practice on your own. What I'm trying to say is that's exactly the point. You're supposed to surpass your parents. You're supposed to learn what you can from your parents by listening and watching to get to where they're going faster in your life, right? So when you are living your life, you're taking your parents' advice and their, and their, and their, and their experiences with you. And you're using them to make decisions on how you're going to do things better. And that's the other thing. If you have multiple kids, you'll see which kids listened and which kids didn't. And it'll, be, it'll show. In 20 years, it will show. And you'll be able to pinpoint exactly, exactly, yet. Yeah. And say, wow, this, this kid listened, followed, this other kid, mm, and guess what? In the end, and this is what the kids also also learn fast. Well, every every person, especially as you become an adult, 
I mean, once you become an adult, it's all on you. So, so when you don't, when you don't do your homework as a kid, guys, yeah, your parents are kind of like, hey, do your homework, but they're saying that because they know how it's going to affect you. You doing your homework doesn't make a difference to me in my life for real, like my actual life. It's because we want you to be uh, ready for the challenge of life. And so anyway, I'm going on a tangent here. No, I mean, I'm just going deep here, but really talking about how it's not easy, all right? That's what I started this with. It's not easy, guys. If you wanted it to be easy, I always say this. If you want what everyone else has, do what everyone else does. That's it. If you want what everyone else has, then just do what everyone else does. If you want what you had yesterday, then just do what you did yesterday. And you will get exactly the same thing. But if you want to make a change, then you got to make a change today. Today's the day to make the change. And it's not going to be easy. It's not easy to make the change. And it's not easy to do something better or good or make progress. Of course, progress is changing, shifting the curve. It's, it's actually shifting the paradigm. You can't shift the paradigm by doing the same thing. You can't shift the paradigm by doing easy words. That's like saying you can run faster without exerting more energy. It's just senseless. It's like That's like saying, I'm going to make this light going as fast as I was going back there. It's not going to happen. But we, it, I, these things sound so basic, but when you put them into practice and start utilizing them in your life, you realize, wow, I have to speed up to go faster. Now, that may sound simple. It may sound pedantic. It may sound definitional, but then just do, okay, I have to speed up to go faster. Like, if I wanna go faster, I can't keep running the same speed. I know that sounds obvious, but that's what it takes to progress. What does it take to run faster? More energy, it's harder. Like, that's the difference. So yeah, theoretically, you could say, okay, to grow faster, I have to, to speed up, I have to run faster. Sure, but you also have to run harder. If you think about what faster truly means, you have to go harder. You have to use more energy. It's not as pleasant. You get tired faster. You gotta gain momentum and gain stamina, the, the ability to last. If you're gonna run faster, you're gonna get tired sooner. Well, what are you gonna do about that? Keep running faster, you'll get tired uh, later. You're gonna get better. You're gonna get more accustomed to what you're doing. But the thing is that the moral of today's story is it's not going to be easy. If you want greatness, if you want progress, if you want anything good in life, it will not be easy. And here's the other thing, anything worth having is worth working for. Anything worth having is worth working for. So it's as simple, simple, but you gotta take some time to truly understand what that means. Anything worth having is worth working for. And if you mean work, work takes energy. Work takes time. Work takes effort. That's what we're talking about, guys. So um, that's one of the things that I wanted to talk about today because, you know, it, it's like people want it to be easy. People want their progress to be easy. They want a test to be easy. They want making money to be easy. They want being wealthy to be easy. They want greatness to come easily. I don't understand that. It, it just simply can't. So anyway, that's the show for the day. 